Hello guys, hi everyone. My channel, my name is Sarumiji Arose. Today, ah uh, by the way, thank you very very much for all my new subscriber. Uh, I'm really appreciated. I can see people out there enjoy my video. I appreciate it. I thank you for subscribing to my channel, for giving me a comment on my channel. Thank you very much and happy new year to everyone out there to all and thank you very very much for all my old subscribers as well. Thank you for still sticking around with me for enjoying my video for making a comment. I really appreciate all of you. And by the way, if you're new subscriber that you just popping or you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe right away if you like what i'm doing by the way today i'm gonna be making a steel pepper steel by the way as you can tell by how the ingredients i do put in on here i'll be showing you what how you know how easy me by the way this give me a comment about one of my new subscriber that want to know how to make a simple BM is a pepper steel. I will show you. You don't have to. I'm I know many people will be subscribed. Oh my god, what is she gonna do with all those things? Like I say, I'm from Nigeria. We do eat a lot of food with a lot of I'm making a lot of stew to eat with a lot of eba onion rice, everything at all. All right, by today, I'll be showing you step by step. For the first step you're gonna be doing, I'll be showing you around what I'm doing right now. I'm using in my uh, pepper stew I will be using an onions okay today I'll be using some of the onions I love mixing my onions with my red onions by the way in my stew I'm gonna be using this red they call it sweet sweet pepper I'm gonna be using that in my stew as well I'm gonna be using tomato and most of all hmm, there's nothing complete without chili I'm gonna be using this bonnet pepper as well I'm using few depends on your choice you can use as many you know i don't know if you like spicy but for me i love spicy no spicy no food for me all right that's that include for me and my family so today i'm gonna be using this i just want to show you from the step and as well i'll be showing you around what are the beef um things the mix assortment meat i'm using in my stew okay let me show you around so today i'm gonna be mixing my uh, pepper stew with this cow skin we call it pomo in nigeria the very delicious nice uh you know i've um sorry off camera just to make my life easier i've um co prep clean them boil them seasoning them that's ready to go and i'm gonna be using shaki as well which is a color and um, the um in english a uh, stripe um just interesting in a uh, uh, cow how intestine is we call it shaki in nigeria as well and yoruba by the way sorry excuse me for that and today as well i'm gonna be using i love using some of my kidney because my boy love kidney as well so i'm gonna be missing some kidney in that and today as well as you can see that i've already boiled this as well it's still in the pot i've not taken it off these are turkey gizzard i'm gonna be using some of them as well in the video still and last and least i'm gonna be using sorry guys i've been ooh, pardon me for that i forgot i still piping out i'm gonna be using the smoke gorgeous smoke turkey in that beef in that um, pepper stew today what am i calling it beef stew <laughs> never mind anyway you understand what i'm saying right so i'm gonna be using this gorgeous mm, delicious ready clean and dry smoked turkey in this um beef stew so today as well let's get started i'm gonna be using oh by the way um i think i'll show you the purple i'm gonna be using i'm as well gonna be using some of this derica and you know i love mix these two pasty in my stew it just give me that gorgeous thing and i'm gonna be using this few of these chopped tomato as well in my beef stew so let's get going now so right now next thing to do is i'm gonna wash all let me take that off all right i'm gonna wash all this pepper chop them and blend them all together okay let's get going I'll put 
put onions, tomato, chili, red bonnet, pepper, and so on in it. Okay, so I'm gonna be blending all this together to get it ready. ready I'm gonna put it in this show you where yeah. you guys can see all my meat are ready for the stew okay but like I said to you I'm gonna be doing two because I like when I do my pepper stew I love them to have extra extra stew in my pepper I don't just don't want to have the all meat and no stew I like it to have a lot of stew in it so i'll be showing you along the way okay so now i'm doing my second batch of blending okay. i'm gonna stop that for now you guys remember i said i'm gonna be using some canned tomato as well in my seal so i'm gonna be adding that before the old things blend properly so now i'm gonna be adding some of that chopped tomato in there like i said i love a lot of stew okay. and just blend that is ready i'm gonna pour it right into the bowl that i've been putting there the stew let me move the camera this side okay so here are the second batch of my steel in there getting it ready okay that's sorted i'm putting this back with this for now to be washed later put it back to space and that is ready so that's the steel i'm gonna be using for my normal steel so right now let's get started I Okay, guys, let's get started. As you can see, you can notice that I moved my pot from over there because I couldn't get the closure for the inside of the pot to be showing. So I want you to see properly, you know, what I'm doing closer. Okay, right in, as you can notice that I've already, I've blended the, this, um, what do you call it? The still the tomato, the chili pepper, everything ready to go. Okay, right now I'm gonna and I've put the pot on just for five minutes ago now, just to make the pot ready. In my cooking, I normally use um, I didn't know you guys, I use a palm oil. Okay, if you guys can see, I use palm oil for the start. Oh my a lamb. This palm oil just you know in winter time, all palm oil are very very thick like this. So that's why. And again today, it's just made the way. So you don't have to use palm oil in your pepper stew. You can use anything you want. You can just use just normal sunflower oil or whatever it is that concerns you. But this is what concerns me. I use palm oil. In fact, I mix my my palm oil with a little bit of sunflower oil. Okay, in my stew. So I'm gonna be showing. I'm putting a little bit of sunflower oil of my choice. You can use anything you like, as you can see. The pep, the oil is ready. Get it ready. While that is getting ready, you need to chop your onions. Okay? Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you guys, sorry. I need to show you that I left like a two onions down. I didn't blend everything. These are the onions I need to put in that thing. Just come along with me. Let's keep going, all right? Like I said, I'm not going to be explaining just follow me the way I'm doing it, okay? And if you do have any question, just make a comment and contact me. I'll be getting back to you on my page, all right? As you can see, it's ready, ready to go, okay? I'm gonna be putting my just to give it that flavor it's really good when you put that little bit of onions in your 
do your oil. Why it steps in ready right there? Because that's really hot. I need to put something there. Okay. Go on. So right now, as you can see, the onions is ready. I just want it a little bit of golden brown, not so much, just a little bit. I just want to, you know, you feel, you smell that nice, um, what do you call it? That onions, crispy flavors, you know, just a little bit of golden brown. It's still white right now. So I'm trying to make it a little bit. It give that still, you know, um, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, 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 delicious flavors. This kind of, this nice delicious flavor in it, okay? So just be patient for five seconds, it should be ready. Okay, right now, as you can see, can you notice in the middle there, the onions is ready to go. I need to pour my blended, um, you know, mixed pepper that's already blended here inside there, okay? This beef, um, why am I saying beef stew? Not beef stew, pepper stew. It's very easy. You can do, hit this with anything you want. These are just the prophet's beginning, you know, of how to make a pepper stew. Very easy, okay? So, like I said, I'll blend the pepper and pour that in gently. Okay. Start a little bit right in there. Right. Okay. So now, hmm, I wish you guys can smell that. The reason why you need to let your onions brown a little bit before pour your pepper in. When you try this at home, you understand what I'm saying. Alright? So you need to make sure your onions are a little bit slightly brown okay before you pour your pepper blended pepper in in this stew so right now we give it some time okay while that is staying there i'm gonna be showing the next thing to be doing right now you guys remember the tomato paste i'm saying i'm gonna be adding in my flavor you can use one or two but for me because i'm making so much still so i'm using these two flavor i just like that mix of taste of that flavor in a stew so i'm gonna be adding that why it's still on there but i'm gonna make sure everything is in there before it's all cooked you don't want it to cook finish and add this midway so it's better you had it like that why it's still cool in there adding the rica first you can use any kind of tomato paste you want as long as it's not pasciata for pizza okay <laughs> right that's done and i'm gonna be adding the dino paste as well by the way if you want to have all this derica these are from nigeria you can find all this in an african shop African shop or my, I, 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 don't, I doubt you're gonna find it in supermarket in UK, but you can find it in African shop or Asian shop, maybe. All right. I'm not gonna let anything waste. I'm gonna rinse that into it. All right. So I've put all the tomato paste in it. Let's give it time to bubble away. Okay. See, these are the start of your pepper stew very easy chop the onions move them blend them put oil put onions put this stew in simple as that nothing complicated at all it's not complicated very easy busy okay so i'm gonna cover that for a few minutes to give it that little burst okay let's wait Okay, as you guys can see, mm -hmm. 
cooking right it's bubbling a little bit right now so first thing i do okay why that is bubble why is still fresh not cooked yet so you can see okay guys okay like i do say um so i'm letting this stew start bubbling a little bit right now okay why that is get going because i put we've put everything in there right now okay yeah so you can add your season at this moment i had my season in you can put any seasoning in it, but at this time i'm using a rosemary okay just a little bit i'm putting some thymes as well okay and i'm putting uh, uh just a little bit of oregano okay but that is still ready to go okay at this moment i put everything in a go so i don't have to worry and by the way sorry guys i don't mention my salt okay just it's just my thing i don't mention salt at all i just i have that feeling i taste taste as you go in your case please if you're not really you know good you don't know what you do don't just put it just like i do right now you're gonna be having a salty stew at the end of the day okay so don't take the risk um just put hard it a little bit by bait and see and taste this as long as you're going the stew is cooking now you know if the flavor of this um, the salt is enough or not enough okay hope you understand guys what i'm saying so right now i've had my seasoning rosemary thyme and what else did i put the oregano in there right now okay other thing i do add in my stew okay i had my my cube my cubes in there okay I'm adding my Maggi cubes in the stew as well. Just taste along as you go. So make sure you get the right taste for y'all. Some people don't eat salt. Some people do. Ooh, my. Spicy. I love it. Okay. At this moment, I'm adding all my stew in it. oh pardon me by the way i'm watching tv uh i mean on my pad the way i'm in, i think it's the best way to enjoy your cooking when you're in the kitchen so let me just stop that for now <coughs> see name i'm putting the rest of the cubes in it you can see at this stage the steel is not cooked yet just that's just the start okay now when i've already put all the my seasoning in them the salt the maggi cube the non cubes and the thyme and rosemary and stuff in it so i'm just gonna be wait a little bit now okay i'm gonna be adding my cow skin like i said to you that along into the stew I wish you guys can smell. These are my, you know, they call it pomo. So I'm putting them in there. can see they still are not ready yet okay that's why i put the hard meat 
first in there. Okay. While that is getting ready, I'm gonna be putting my shaki as well. The stripes in there, adding it together. Just a little, not all of them, just a little bit. You know. already mm. okay so right now I'm just gonna stir it and cover it up make sure everything is well cooked It's not long, I'm just checking it out. That's all. I'm happy the way it turned out. So. to cook more until those oils come on top of them okay guys now I've covered this five to ten minutes okay let's check it out as you notice I'll only put it careful all right 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 as you guys can see really 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 bubbly I need to turn down let's go back up I need to turn them it down a little bit okay so why that is cooked we're not there yet so don't get me wrong this is the way I do my thing everyone have that way of doing their own pepper stew this is the way I do my thing okay and if I want to cook in a different way I have way of doing another I'll be showing you anyway this is the way I use this stew I use it for like, because I come from Nigeria, uh, we eat a lot of things like eba, amala, inyon, stuff like that. I can have this still with anything I want to. You know, I can have it with rice. I can have it with, you know, a solid food. Anything you want to, okay? So, I, I'm just showing you the process how to make a simple pepper stew. Not complicated. All you have to do is blend all the pepper, tomato, whatever it is, you know? check from the beginning of the video you will understand what i'm saying blend them together chop onions from it fry it and put your you know assorted meat whatever i see fish chicken whatever it is you want to cook with the stew okay and one more other thing the difference is if you cooking fish make sure your stew is 80 percent cooked before you have the fish in because fish do cook early than the than the meat and if you're doing meat like assessment like i'm doing right now please all the one that is you know that they're really hard you know to take long time to cook them to make them soft put them immediately you put your pepper in the oil is ready let them cook halfway then add the rest of the meat assortment meat like you know that they're gonna cook very easily at the last bit okay hope you guys understand what i'm saying and if you do have any comment, please just make a comment down there or email me at my page, you know, down there. Just let me know what you think, okay? Let's taste. Fantastic. I've got what I want. I don't need any more salt. I don't need any more seasoning. It's perfect this way. All I need to do right now is just wait for the steel to cook properly, okay? I need to cover it back again so at this stage 
I need to add just a little bit of water, just tiny bit, not much. Like I do say, this is the way I cook my steel. People have that different way of cooking that steel. This is the way I cook mine. All right. Okay. I need to cook for it up five to ten minutes again to make sure it's cooked. Okay, guys, we've put cover this up to up to ten to fifteen minutes now. So. The next step I'm gonna do. Uh, ooh, nice. Okay. So, about time. As you guys can tell, hmm, this is soft enough. Fantastic. And the striped shaki is soft enough for me. All right. So the next thing I need to do now is put the rest of my assorted meat in the stew. I'm tasting along the way okay perfect okay I'm sure you guys will be noticing that I'm doing some okra because today I'm gonna be having amala and okra and they still together next time I'm gonna be showing you how I make my okra crush it in my blender and cook it okay I didn't chop it with a knife I crushed it using my blender high crushed to do that okay so i'll be showing you about that next time so today is all about the pepper stew all right so i'll be showing you about that let's carry on so that is ready i'm happy as you guys can see because i didn't use too much because nowadays i'm just trying to learn to use less oil in my cooking so this oil I use right now is perfect not too much at all okay so I'm adding the rest of my like I said to you I'm adding this um, what you call um, that is is a gizzard turkey gizzard I'm gonna be adding that okay I'm not gonna be adding everything, just a few. I just love when I do, um, when I do uh, pepper stew. I like them mix everything. I love all the variety of meat in my stew. I just love mixing them that way okay so you can do in your own thing you can put any meat or anything you feel like in there so now that is sorted i put the gizzard as well so now i'm putting the rest i think i like to have more of gizzard in there oh my boy love that now i'm gonna be adding now i have heard Okay, what the hell loss? I had the gizzard in it. So why that is okay? Because I turned out the thing. My grill turkey that I put in there as well. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna add in that some of those in as well. Because it's nearly done, ready to go now. In the way everything I'm mixing up, that's why I call it my assorted pepper stew, right? Okay. 
ಎಣ್ಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿಟ್ಟೆ At this stage, the last thing I'm gonna be adding with my soulmate meat is will be my favorite son meat kidney. All right. done but those are the last things I put on okay we nearly there okay so now I'm done with all the whole make now now you guys can see why I need more steel okay so I've done with that mm, wow I can't wait mm, yum yum I just can't wait. Okay. So nothing wrong for you to put a little bit of water in your stew because it's not if I'm cooking a rice stew which I'm gonna be doing on this channel some other day, not now. This are just my normal routine of my you know pepper stew, you know, it's not fried one, normal, just normal. For just for you know so in this case don't worry about his watch because it's gonna be thickening later very thickening it's gonna be thick later so don't worry about that okay the reason I'm putting the water because all those meat I want those pepper to go inside those meat you know like I do say everyone have their own ways of cooking this is my way of cooking Okay, my steel. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna cover it up again. Now by the time I'm open it, it should be ready to go. Okay. Let's put it 10 to 15 minutes again. Okay. Alright. Okay guys, the moment of truth. I think the steel wow. Really bubbly, 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 bubbly. Okay. Right. Okay. Like I do say, when you know that your steel is cooked, can you see all those oil right there? Now, that is showing that your steel is nearly already cooked. So, that's the way you know. So, right now, I'm satisfied with this. All I just need to do is just give it like five to ten more minutes because I love my meat cooked. God knows. I don't like red meat at all. I don't do red meat. Okay. So check. You can see all is ready to go. So guys, this is the way I make my pepper stew with my assortment assortment meat i beg your pardon for my english okay assortment meat okay so this is the way i make it if you like my video please click like so at the moment i'm satisfied with that like i say i just need to leave it more for five to ten minutes more cover it up and let it cook okay and we're done Okay guys, I think I'm done with steel cooking now. Oh my pepper steel is ready to go. This is how I made my homemade pepper steel with my all assortment meat. Alright. So if you do guys enjoy my video, please click like button, make a comment share my video with friends and family and check out all my old videos that I've already uploaded on my channel as well please share with all your friends and relatives and if you do have any comment please contact me or make a comment I will get back to you as soon as possible okay thank you very much for being with me and this is the way I make my homemade 
pepper stew with my assortment mates okay hope you enjoyed the video guys thank you very much and i'll be see you soon on my next video god bless thank you bye bye so here is my last piece of my stew pepper i made with my assortment meat all right um hope you guys like it um because i enjoy this cooking if you do enjoy or you want to try the recipe as well you're welcome please make sure you give me a like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel thank you very much god bless you see you in the next video